probably got off a plane. Did you get off a plane? Thursday? And when you get off a plane at BIA, you know what it's like. You walk you know, from your gate and you go on the little escalators and then you go on the train, you get off the train, and you get to the upstairs and you go up the escalator and you come out and there's always people standing there with signs saying, welcome home. And there are people with, with you know, hugs and everything. Imagine when you go there, I'm sure you've seen at some point, it's a man and a woman and they're embracing and there's like one tear and you look at it and you think, well, that's really sweet, isn't it? That's really sweet. And then you just go and get your bags. But what if you knew, what if somehow you had this little insight, this little hint, and you knew that those two people are brother and sister. And they were hugging because the sister hasn't been home to see mom in 20 years. And she came home this week because this is the last time she's going to get to see mom. If you had that, that, that awareness, you would think more than it's just sweet. You would recognize the, the depth of that moment. Or, uh, instead of just thinking it's sweet, what if you came in there and you saw the two people and they're hugging and that little tear goes by and you knew, you're the only person who knew that was really a man and a woman who were married to other people. And this is their weekend tryst. Well, you would look at that and you would think, oh, aghast. But you would know something about that story. It would matter more. It would be a lie. And that is exactly what happens in the Bible. Some of you know this analogy because you've been reading it in book club, but that is exactly the, the inside stories, the hints, the, the assumptions in the Bible. Our culture sometimes has our own hints. My family has Thanksgiving different than your family, right? And if I came to sit at your Thanksgiving, I'd have to learn new customs. Our country has customs that other countries don't necessarily have. And the Bible, those people had customs years, thousands of years ago. But sometimes for us, when we just stop pay a little closer attention, we might get deeper into what's going on there. We might understand Jesus a little bit closer. We might understand our own hearts and how God is reaching out a little bit closer if we stop and say, what in the world's going on there? That's our series, and today we're going to be focused on miracles. So often when it comes to miracles in the Bible, people just argue about, can they happen? Do they still happen? Of course they don't happen. We're modern people. Of course they do happen. I've got this story in my life. And people get sidetracked, maybe, about what God is actually trying to do in these experiences. So today we're going to look at what are miracles in the Bible. We're going to look at two stories of miracles, uh, a kid's story and an adult story. Um, so, uh, yeah, let's worship God by singing the first.